Okay. So it was 1997. I was graduating college from Lock Haven University and I was in ROTC and I came out to uh, uh, Fort Sill, Oklahoma. Uh, on the way there, I sold my car for $400 and I showed up with a duffel bag. I uh, went to Artillery OBC and um, like every good you know, new lieutenant, I purchased a brand new car and I bought a, a pretty expensive laptop in 1997. Um, next day, I lived in a BOQ. Uh, my BOQ flooded and I was told that I had to move into an apartment. And I just spent pretty much my first paycheck uh, on uh, the down payment on the car and the, and the computer. So I had to reach out to AER, I got a loan. I was able to pay it back a couple months later. It was very beneficial. It was actually extremely easy. They were very helpful, laid out exactly what I had to do. And, and uh, we just made the uh, withdrawals from my pay in the next coming months, I believe, and it was paid off. Well, you never know when a, a life emergency is going to happen, um, controlled or uncontrolled, and you know, having that resource to turn to uh, when you might not be able to get it from the banks at a young age uh, is very beneficial. And I see it all the time now that you know, it really helps out uh, soldiers that need it. I hope I never have to use AER again, but if I did, yes. Uh, I feel very comfortable uh, going to the team here and uh, I'm sure they would take care of me. I used it in 2016. We ran into a family emergency, which turned into a family uh, tragedy. We lost uh, a grandmother. And within two days, I already had uh, qualified for a grant and uh, interest-free loan. Within five days, we were already traveling to Honduras. Uh, no, it took, uh, I'll say, between the time I showed up to their office, it took him about two, two days to get it approved and finalized. And uh, then I was able to pick up and uh, see the check and I was able to make the purchases. So within five days window from the day I arrived at the office, I was able to travel. I would definitely recommend it to uh, anyone uh, within any branch uh, because uh, until that moment, I was always uh, embracing the program as an NCO. I was always telling my soldiers, hey, there's a program there that you could, ha that could help you when you run into issues, but I never thought of myself actually using the program and I didn't think it was going to be as easy as it was, the process. Uh, I thought it was going to be very intrusive, but it wasn't. I was able to uh, talk to them directly and they facilitated all the paperwork necessary for me to get the, the assistance that I needed to uh, get my travels done.